Hello people, Soul Closet here, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to upload any Minecraft map that you make to the internet. Now, today we're going to be using www.planetminecraft.com, and I know I said that super professionally, but I have no affiliation with them other than I love that website, so if you want to check them out, the link will be in the description. So, we're going to be posting to that website today. Um, posting anywhere else is relatively similar, but it's not exactly the same. So, I'm going to show you how to post there today. So, what you're first going to want to do is you're going to want to locate Run on your computer. Now, this assumes that you have Windows 7. With Windows XP or earlier, or Mac or any Linux variation, I don't know how to do this. So this is going to assume that you have Windows 7 or Vista, because they work the same way. You're going to want to go to the start. don't know why that popped up. You're going to want to go to the start menu, and under where it says search programs and files down here, you're going to type in run, and click on the program under files called run that has the little blue icon. Once you're there, you're going to want to type in what's highlighted in blue here, which is percent symbol, APP DATA percent symbol, which is percent app data percent. Now, this should open up the Windows Explorer, the folder, you know, the folder navigator, and it should take you to your username, app data roaming. Now, if it doesn't take you there, you either typed it in wrong or you're using um, a version of Windows or any operating system that does not work the same way. But assuming that it went correctly, you're going to want to double click on dot .minecraft. So now you should see some folders like bin and mo and uh, bin and texture packs and saves, maybe options, files, servers. You're going to want to go to saves. Now, in my last video, I showed you how to install a map that you've downloaded from the internet. I'm going to use that same map and post it back to the internet uh, in this video just to show you how it works. So, I'm going to use that same flatgrass map, but you can use any map. And you're going to want to find the folder for it. Now, you're going to want to right click and go to and hover over send to. This should show you a list of things like desktop and documents, maybe some programs or directories. You're going to want to click on compressed zipped folder. This is going to make a zip folder um, in your saves folder, which you have open right now that is named the same thing as your map. Now you're going to want to take the zip folder and move it to your desktop because that just makes everything a lot easier. If you're going to remember where it is or keep this window open, you can leave it there, but I choose to move it to the desktop temporarily. Now you're going to want to open up your favorite browser. I use Firefox. And you're going to want to go to www.mediafire.com uh, This website is 100% safe. Um, I'm going to window this just so I can check on the video recording. Um, this website is 100% safe, so you can trust it. Now, this is what it looks like once you log in. Um, assuming that you're at all smart, you should know how to lo how to make an account on a website. And this one is especially easy considering you can log in with your Facebook or, I believe, Twitter accounts. But I know that you can log in with Facebook. Uh, or your email and a password. I'm logged in right now, so I'm just going to click on Upload right here. Now, if you can't get to here, all I think you have to do is click the Mediafire logo, and it'll take you to this page. So after you're here, you're going to want to click on Upload, and it'll say Loading Uploader, and it'll open this. Click on the giant plus, and it'll open up a thing like this. You're going to want to navigate to your desktop in the little sidebar, or wherever you save the zip folder, and find the zip folder. Now, in my case, I uploaded, I'm going to use a flatgrass, so it's called flatgrass, and it's a zip file. You're going to want to take that and click open. This will put it in the list of select files to upload. You're going to want to click begin upload, and depending on the size of the folder and your internet connection, it should take, or it'll take a varying amount of time. The progress will be shown here and down there, in case it's a really huge map. But it shouldn't take very long, not much more than this now. So once that happens, you're going to want to go to Return to My Files. This will take you here again, but now you'll see that if you had anything before, your the thing you just uh, 
Yeah. The thing you just uploaded will also be there, and if you didn't have anything, the only thing there will be your most recent upload that you just did. You're going to want to click on that, and it will take you to the download page in a new tab. Now you're going to want to go to the top address bar, and just select the entire thing, right click, and then copy. After this, you can X out of that, and in your, and in your main tab, in your browser, go to www.planetminecraft.com. So once you're here, it should look like this. It won't say this, though. That's my login. Um, again, if you're at all smart, you know how to make an account. This time, you have to make a, a separate account. You can't use Facebook or Twitter, but that's okay. It's not rel It's you know relatively easy to do as it is. So once you have an account, it should show your avatar here, your name here, your level here, and all these things that look confusing, as well as a lot of people who like Planet Minecraft. That's not important right now. You're going to want to click on Projects under the search bar. This will take you to a similar page, but now it will only show Maps. You're going to want to click on Upload Project. Once you're here, it will show something like this. Now, you're going to need at least one screenshot of your map, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to minimize that and open up Minecraft. Now, I am using the vanilla function in the Technic launcher, but this is so much more easily done with regular Minecraft. So just do what I do once you see this open, and it'll be the same thing. So start Minecraft however you are, and this takes a while to load, so we'll just have to wait a couple seconds. It'll catch up. Do do do. Okay, so once it gets past the Mojang screen, if all goes correctly, you should be able to go directly to this, which is good. That's the normal Minecraft screen. Now you're going to want to go to single player and double click on your map that you were just uploaded to Mediafire. In my case, it is Flatgrass. Um, now, to do this, you are going to need to make sure that you leave the folder, not the zip file, but the folder for your map in Minecraft, you know, in the saves file. Otherwise, it will not let you do this. Assuming that it's still there, though, it should be under the same name, and you're just going to want to go into that world. Now, once it loads up, which might take a couple seconds, as you probably know, you should get to the normal Minecraft plane. Now, a messy person would just press F2 and take a screenshot and be on their way. Now, because there's no real features to this map, seeing as it is a flat grass, and I'm only using this for testing purposes, the, well, only, thing I can, the only thing I can really do is press... F1 to make my GUI go away, and look at the only feature, which is a chest. I'm going to then want to press F2 and take a screenshot. It should lag up for a second. If you press F1, it should say saved screenshot as, and then the year, the month, the day, the minute, and the, sec the second, and I think the millisecond, or something like that. Maybe the hour, the minute, the second, I don't know, dot PNG. Once that's happened, you're going to want to exit out of Minecraft. Okay, so once you've exited out of Minecraft, you're going to want to go back to Run. Now, I have a desktop icon for this, but otherwise you're going to want to get to it through the Start menu. So once you're in it, you go to the same place. It should still be there, percent app data percent. If not, type that in, and then press OK. Go to dot .minecraft. In my case, I'm using the Technic Launcher, so it's different. But assuming that you have Minecraft, you're going to want to go to dot .minecraft. And then you're going to want to go to screenshots. Now, because my Minecraft isn't working, I don't have a screenshots folder. So I'll show you what it looks like with the Technic Launcher. So this is what it should look like, minus maybe backups and mods. It should look relatively the same. You're going to want to go to the screenshots folder. And the only thing there, or one of the things there, should be the screenshot you took. You're going to want to take that and drag it onto the desktop. Now... Assuming that you kept it open, let's go back to Planet Minecraft, and you should be on this page. Now, for title, I'm just going to put Video Test Map, and under Category, I'm going to put Other. 
you can put these in as however you want, you know. Uh, description, um, testing for a vi video, don't ban me. This site does not allow you to post flat maps like I posted, so that's why I'm putting don't ban me. You don't need to put that as long as it's not a flat map or something boring like a normal, you know, like an unchanged map. Now, this is important. Under World Download URL, you're going to want to right-click and press Paste. This should put in the Mediafire link to that you copied before, and if you went to it in another tab or clicked on it, it would take you to the download for your map. That's good. Now, under Images and Video, you want to go to Upload File, File, Browse, scroll down, or navigate to your desktop and scroll down, and you should see that photo you put in. You're going to want to double-click that, and caption it however you want. I'm going to put flat map for video. And then you're going to want to click save down here. Not the big save, but the one down here. Once it pops up like that, you're done. You know, if you want to add anything like additional notes, credit, um, more pictures, a YouTube video, you can do all that. But let's just say you're doing this all simple. You're going to want to click save. Now, I'm not going to do this because even though I put in all that stuff about not banning me, I don't want to risk it. I almost got banned before. You will click save, and it will re redirect you to your project. Anytime anyone goes to your account or the link that should appear up here, it'll take them here to your map. If they click Minecraft World Save, it will take them in a new tab to the download for your map. Now, I'm going to delete this immediately so I don't get banned, so I'll be right back. Okay, I deleted that. Everything's all cool. Um, if you want to check out my account, you can, but as far as this tutorial goes, we are done. Now, the link at the top um, should be planetminecraft.com slash some stuff, and at the end it should be the name that you named your map with maybe a couple variations. Like, if someone had a map called the same thing, then it'll have like a 2 or something, that's just how they organize it, but the link up here on the page for your map should be what you copy, and you can send it to your friends, put it in a video of your own, but however you choose to do it, that is the link to your map on Planet Minecraft. Every time someone views it, you will gain experience, and then you will level up. This website is amazing, and anything you post, a mod, a texture pack, post it here. It is way better than any other site. Um, so that's all for today, guys. Um, not much else I can really say. Clean, clean this up a bit. Um, so yeah, uh, like and favorite if you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe for more tutorials, probably about Minecraft. And I will see you guys later. So close it out.